Welcome to another episode of Pistons of Fury. In this episode, I'm gonna show you in under seven minutes how to rebuild your Holley 4150 carburetor. Okay, so we're starting here with the rebuild for the Street Avenger 670 carburetor that I had on my Mustang. It just wasn't running right, so I picked up a trick kit from Holly, which is part number 37-935. Before getting started, make sure you drain the carburetor by turning it upside down over some sort of drain vessel so you don't spill gas all over your workbench like I do here. The first step we're doing is we're removing the float bowls and the gaskets. If they stick, you can get a paint scraper and stick it in between. You also want to remove the metering blocks at this time, You'll also want to go ahead and remove the power valve and the idle mixture screws at this point. The power valve comes out with a one inch box wrench, or you can just use an adjustable wrench like I do. The idle mixture screws just come out with a flat blade screwdriver. From here, you can remove the accelerator pump from the bottom of the float bowl, and then move on to removing the fuel inlet nozzles. Now there's actually a filter inside of these if you haven't removed that, so that should be replaced, and the replacement actually comes in the trick kit from Holly. Now the next part is a little tricky and my camera actually cut out for this, but if you have a vacuum secondary carburetor, you're gonna to wanna to turn it upside down and look for the little rod that connects the vacuum diagram housing to the secondary throttle shaft on the base plate. There's a really small C-clip that you have to remove in order to disconnect this. And what we're doing here is trying to remove the base of the carburetor from the main body. Also, as part of this, we have to remove the electric choke. You don't wanna open up the choke, but there are three screws that hold that on. Once you remove that, you can actually remove the secondary diaphragm and then you'll have a complete or disassembled carburetor body. Now next, you'll wanna put all of your parts that you just dis disassembled into a nice bucket and get a giant can of carb cleaner and basically just go through and scrub each of the parts individually. What you're looking to do is remove any residue from the fuel that's been sitting in this carburetor for years and years and years. And if it's like mine, it's been sitting, started, sitting, started, sitting, started over the span of the last 15 years. And you've got a lot of built up residue, specifically inside of the float bowls. So pay special attention when you're cleaning the inside of the float bowls to make sure that you get all of that fuel residue that's been sitting there. When you're done cleaning, get a compressed air hose and blow out all of the little tiny orifices and holes to make sure that you have no carb cleaner left in your carburetor. And now we're on to reassembly. The gaskets that come with the trick kit actually are meant to cover a broad span of carburetors in the 4150 family. So make sure that when you use the gaskets, you're using the correct one. Now the best way to tell is that there's little dowels inside of the carburetor body that actually tell you which gasket to use. So it's pretty easy to see which one is supposed to be there. Here, I'm reinstalling the accelerator pump squirter, screw, and nozzle, which comes new with your Holly trick kit. Now, you basically unscrew this inside the carburetor, turn it upside down, and a small needle comes out. Your kit comes with a new one, so basically you just do the opposite when you install that. It's important to note that there's a small washer that comes with the screw, so you wanna make sure not to drop that into the carburetor body and also make sure that you retain that when you reinstall the screw. Next up, we reinstall the base plate of the carburetor using a brand new gasket from the trick kit. And following that, we're going to reinstall the choke and the vacuum diaphragm for the secondaries. Don't forget to reinstall the rod so that it doesn't bind and the secondaries can open easily by hand. And remember to replace that little C-clip that holds the actuator rod in place.
Now it's time to reinstall the float bowls. Reinstall the power valve in the float bowl and then apply the right gaskets from your kit. Again, the kit comes with several gaskets for different models of the 4150 carburetor. So make sure that you're using the right gasket and not blocking any fuel passages. Install the gasket pretty much as you took it off and remember to install the lines and the new filters that come with those lines. When reinstalling our meter blocks, we're also gonna be reinstalling our new needle and seat assemblies that come with the Holly Trick kit. And finally, don't forget to install the idle mixture screws and the float bowl sight plugs. So that pretty much wraps up the rebuild of the 4150 series carburetor, in this case, the Street Avenger. If your label came off, you can reaffix it with some silicon high temperature sealant as I did here. And finally, it's time to reinstall on the car. Make sure when you take the carburetor off the car in the first place, you take a picture of all the linkages with your phone or camera so that you have a reference point when you reinstall it. In this case, I'm using a spacer on my manifold, so make sure that you use the right gasket to, that aligns with your spacer. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope this helps you with your carburetor rebuild. Have fun and good luck.